My next guest is a multimedia badass who co-hosts America's Newsroom and The Five, as well as her own weekly podcast. She obviously has better things to do on a Saturday night, but she's agreed to appear on the program like, yes, as a favor to the channel. Please welcome Her Excellency, Dana Perino. I didn't know how true to life that was going to be. <laughs> She's here. I walked in here like a diva. Dana Perino, uh, diva that you are. You are officially off the meter. I have changed. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. You yeah, changed yeah. with me getting a right. show. Now you got the show and you're still the same. And you're, you're amazing and congratulations. Oh, thank you, girl. You know I'm happy for you. Thank you. Well, you know you're the wind beneath my wings, but I'll spare you the song. <laughs> Dana Perino, off the meter. Who was your celebrity crush as a teenager? Oh. As a teenager. Yes. I'm a yes. Mm. Rob Lowe. I'm Rob sorry. Lowe. I'm not He's like a colleague now. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why it's awkward to say it. I hope he doesn't see this. I, I mean, I hope he sees it. Yeah, yeah. I hope he doesn't see it. <laughs> It would be awful if he were to tweet me at Dana Perino or follow me on Instagram. And he has a new game show. Thank you. Know, you. Called whatever, something the, the floor. It's called the floor. Yeah, the oh, floor. that's hot. Oh. That's conjuring up <laughs> images already. Uh, who is who is uh, the most famous person in your contacts? Oh. George W. Bush. Oh, that's wow. hot. Mm -hmm. that, I got that, it. That's yeah. hot. No one, I want to text no him. I have George Jefferson. It's about, I can't really compete with that. <laughs> Moving on. But let me ask you that then, since we're talking about contacts. Which Fox News talent would be your emergency contact if, like, you were out drinking with Gutfeld? You oh, I, I know the answer to this already. Give it to me. Hannity. Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity. Absolutely. Oh. Sean Hannity wow. will always come to your rescue. He has money <laughs> and a helicopter. And a helicopter. He has a That's getaway, right. he has a right. getaway he helicopter. And a helicopter. Yeah, I mean, I would always call him because he would always take your call. He will always help you. And he's, all, he's the reason I'm here at Fox. Is that true? Yes, yeah, wow. true. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh, he was almost the reason I was not here several times. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's the best. Shout out to Sean Hannity. He still wants a cut from me getting the show. He demanded, despite all the money you just talked about. How do you think he has about. a helicopter? <laughs> he shakes down. You're paying two. Are you 10% or 12? Um, since you mentioned George W. Bush, who is better? At dodging thrown shoes, you were George W. Bush. Oh, Bush for sure. It, oh. it was like mm. it was bad, right? And then he just mm. looked at him like, "Why the hell are you throwing shoes?" It, that's the best thing about the Bush. The best reflexes, thank God. The yeah. two it greatest, wasn't Biden. the two greatest Bush moments that we don't talk about. Okay. Okay. The shoe dodge mm -hmm. at the debate when Al Gore mm -hmm. tried to like walk over to him with like sign the pledge, <laughs> and, Bo yeah. and Bush is just like, "Yeah, what's up?" And he jumped <laughs> on. Like, yeah. It he was goes like this. Totally. He's like. Yeah, it was six <laughs> like, like, yeah, whatever, bud. It was the greatest thing in the world. All right, give me this. Um, what was your most interesting plane trip? Ooh. Since planes are in the news this Can week, a door blew off a flight. The one where you met Peter? No. Yes, I, I, of course. Oh, okay. No, I, I think mean, it has to <laughs> be. That should have been my answer. Oh, oh yes. no. <laughs> Peter, I love you. It's okay. not the first one that came to mind, which is embarrassing because I called oh. that love at first flight and I met my husband on an airplane 27 oh. years ago and it was fabulous and obviously it was always great. But not your answer. But the You're thing that I was thinking of, I think maybe because we were talking about Bush, is because when we flew from Baghdad to Afghanistan after the shoes were thrown. Remember, I was the only one who got hurt in the whole thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I got hit in the face, uh -huh. and I, nobody told me not to sleep on my side oh. on the flight from Baghdad to Afghanistan. So I get up, I go into the conference room, putting my little you know kit away, and Mark Thiessen says, <gasps> I said, what? He said, did you sleep on your side? I said, yes, why? He said, because all the blood pooled oh, here, and that's no. why I had a black eye for the that's last nice. six weeks of the Bush administration, oh. which also might be a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I just love that the flight you met your husband on comes in second to a black eye. <laughs> but, <laughs> not, but not in Emily's eyes, and that's why we love her. Oh, we love it. All right, that we will leave good. you with that this. Really Do good. you know any dirty jokes, maybe by your standards, not by ours? Or do you want to keep your pristine image intact? Have you met Peter? Oh, I'm, I'm well aware of what Peter knows. That's why I asked I mean, you. I know. I don't know if you'll think. Yeah, I do. Give it to me. Let's go. Is it allowed? All right. Per yeah, no, we're fine. It's Saturday night. We've got a delay. We've got beeps. We can two. do anything. I have two. I'm going to choose. Oh. 